Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is the astrological update for Pisces for the week starting the 6th of August. Now, we have a very interesting astrological week this week, kicking off on the 8th with Mercury, the planet of communication, going forward, thank goodness. You've had Mercury in the 6th house going backwards, which has been a bit of a pain in the bottom. And that is because you may have felt that people were criticising you. You may have felt that whatever you said, it wasn't good enough. But, you know, hopefully Mercury was saying, you know, own that. Own the way you feel about yourself. However, all of that is over and out. Because now we have Mercury going forward in the 6th house. But it's saying to you, don't criticise anyone else now. Because you may have had a taste of that earlier. Allow yourself to communicate what you feel is best for other people, but also understand that they have the freedom to cast aside your wisdom. Doesn't mean you're not being wise and kind and loving, but, you know, it's all about control, that sixth house. And it's saying, let go of the control and let the love flow. Now, Venus, the planet of love on the eighth, enters your eighth house. You're in the mood to play. You're in the mood to love. You're in the mood to have happy, childish days of pleasure and joyful happiness. And Venus is sort of sprinkling a little bit of magic fairy dust on you to bring all sorts of pleasure your way. Hooray! Brilliant. I'm very pleased. I think I have five planets in Pisces. Uh, now we also have a Persades. I'm really pronouncing that wrong, which I'm, excuse me for my ignorance, meteor shower, which is just sparkling little kind of meteors of hope and goodness upon your soul and saying, believe little Pisces, believe in the magic of you. Believe that there is magic in the world and do not give up. Now we do have a T-square with that Venus in the fifth, opposite Pluto in the 11th square, Uranus in the second. You may want to have pleasure and you may feel that someone's controlling you or a friend is a bit bar humbug, but your heart and your spirit is saying, be free. Do not allow other people to control or manipulate you. But equally, don't go into battle. Don't go into, you know, any, any fights with anyone. Open your heart and understand that if people are trying to control you, it's because probably they're frightened or they're insecure or they're fearful, which all of us can be sometimes. And allow yourself to handle all situations with love. I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.